He gave his life in service to our country, and tonight a Navy SEAL from Armada is getting a memorial fit for his valor and service right in his own hometown. We didn't know until a group of SEALs showed up at our house. For Rick Freewald, September 11th is one of the toughest days of his life, but it was 9-11 of 2008. His son, Chief Petty Officer Jason Freewald, died as a Navy SEAL, protecting not only our country, but his fellow brothers in Afghanistan. It all started when he led his team busting through an enemy compound. He was the first one through, and uh, he, he hit uh, some heavy gunfire. Um, kicked the door closed, told everybody to go up uh, from the top, come down, and uh, <clears throat> so he was in the room by himself. <laughs> Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, so when he did get shot, it hit him in the plate, deflected down hit his femoral artery. The Armada native died in surgery, but he laid down his life saving the lives of two comrades. He got a silver star because of it. I think people don't realize the sacrifice that the families and the guys go through. But even in its finality, a remembrance lives on here in his hometown. This 175-year-old anchor holds the space that honors a hometown hero who will never be forgotten. My wife and I just wanted uh, like a road named after Jason and something just to show some recognition that his 10 years since he died has, you know, he will be remembered. And uh, Dean came along. He's talking about Dean Smith standing proudly next to the memorial, young and old alike in Armada, ready for a 10-year memorial dedication, a permanent thank you. You could tell him something, what we could tell him. I, I wish I would have met him. His daughter just turned 13, and she has no memories of her own from her dad, and that's horrible. Um, we're hoping that this memory right here will outweigh the, memory, the stories that she's gotten along the way, and she'll have her own memory of September 9th where an entire town plus came out to celebrate her daddy's life. Oh my goodness, that is so moving yeah. for, the, for his family, for the entire town of Armada. Yes. And for the rest of us, it is so important to recognize our heroes. Yeah, and I know every year when we do our Tribute to the Troops program, we talk so many, so much about the families. It's not just the loss of the life of one person, it's the loss, uh, there's a father and a mother and there's a child and they all lose somebody. But coming up, they're going to honor his life on the 10-year anniversary of his death on September 9th at 12 p.m. over at the, uh, the main park there in Armada. If you'd like to take part, get there early and make sure you, you reserve a seat because it's going to be uh, packed and not a dry eye in the house. Yeah.